<laughs> yes. No. Wow. wow. Three. Two. Lincoln is going to try to beam me in the head. One. Swing. If you haven't noticed, we're not at a regular Top Golf facility here today. This is the San Francisco Giants baseball park, and uh, we're hitting golf balls into the outfield. What is this? This is crazy. So we're gonna show you guys our day here. I'm hoping at some point I can get down on the field and show you the targets, because they're not your typical Top Golf targets. But right now, we are exactly one minute away from attempting to break a world record. We're gonna break it. We got people here all lined up at eight o'clock in the morning, and then also at every Top Golf facility, in America right now, there are people all lined up to hit a ball at the exact same time. We're gonna have to find out how many people it actually is, but it's a lot. Oh, here we go, get ready to hit. That says three seconds. Everybody swing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, swing. the golf ball, I actually hit it. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> they can count your shot. This is Alexis, she is a long drive champion. Yeah. Right, what's your furthest hit you've ever hit? Uh, 358 yards. That is far. Number one in America right now. Number one in America? Number three right? in the world. Yes, yeah. and did you shank that shot for the record or did you actually hit it? I hit the target. Yes! Yeah. Lincoln, did you hit the target on the record one? Um, no. No. Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Alexis nailed the target. At least you hit it past the dugout, where you can see some people have not made it past the dugout. There's a bunch of golf balls down there. All right, so while Lincoln hits, this is Kara from Top Golf. How many people hit the ball here? I mean, here it's not that many. I can't imagine that's a record. So we had all of our venues across the country. There were 56 Top Golf venues that joined us in this swing. In addition to some Top Tracer range participants at some of our driving ranges, okay. and then also with some of our virtual swings we goes, we all swung at the same time, and we think that we broke the world record with 2,000 or more people that swung the golf ball simultaneously. We think we we break this world record every day at Top Golf because we have all of our guests that come. But this time, that is a really good point. Like seriously, if you go to a Top Golf, you've got all the guests there. They're just knocking the balls out of the park every day. I think every single facility today is being used, and this makeshift one here at the ballpark, and there's one in Chicago that I think is like in a ballpark also. Yep. Everything except Australia, apparently. So we had the Guinness World Record adjudicator in Dallas at our venue there. Okay. And then we had a witness and a steward at every single location that we swung to confirm that the swing happened. All right, Lincoln. I think you might have been part of a record. And if you guys remember last year, we broke a world record with Top Golf where we hit the world's longest usable golf club. This is back to back years that with Top Golf, we were part of breaking a Guinness world record, which still hasn't been confirmed that we broke it. But I yeah, pro but we probably have. Yeah. We probably did. Yeah. I, we probably did. Just because we hit that moment where we all hit a ball once doesn't mean that we have to get out of here. This place is basically all of these people are gonna be here until 10 a.m., which is almost two hours. I'm gonna try to get down there and show you what's inside of those targets and at least touch them. I wanna see it and I wanna see if I can get down there and have Lincoln try to hit me with the golf ball. Get ready for the madness day that is Top Golf inside of a Major League Baseball stadium. Check this out, Alexis right now is getting her black card. Yes. I'm telling you, the black card, we've had it for a year. It's one of the greatest cards in my wallet. Um, you've hit the ball pretty far before. Yeah. Barry Bonds, when I was growing up, he used to always hit it in the ocean over, I think it's called Levi Landing. Oh, wow. There's 81 splash hits this last season. You gotta hit it over. I think you can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the jacket is coming off. Jacket's off. We got it ball teed up high. We are about to lose the tee, but we are going to splash zone. Yes. Boom! Go! Go! <laughs> Splash zone! <laughs> she totally cleared the net. She cleared the entire net. Okay, they can get in your canoe and go get it. I'm gonna hit some balls here. We're gonna have a bit of a competition here. You get five shots. Alexis, you get five shots. All right. Whoever gets the most points wins. If you hit it in the ocean, you lose all your points. Oh, that's too bad. I thought I, I thought I could get it there. Lincoln is up, he gets five shots. I'm going for blue. I'm going for blue. You can go for whatever you want, just get the most points. Whichever one you can hit it in. Shot number one. Oh, come around. Oh, I don't think it's gonna make it. Oh! 
It's on shot number one. Pressure's off a little bit here now. So right now we've got a little interview going on with Cassie and Colton. They were on The Bachelor last year. So those of you that are fans of The Bachelor, they actually are a couple and they've been together for like a year. I think it's been their one year anniversary. So they helped us break in the record and now they're getting interviewed by Entertainment Tonight or ET right there. So we have to be quiet and not hit any balls while the interview is going on. And then afterward, we're gonna continue our little competition between Alexis and Lincoln. But uh, we had to move for the cameras real quick. Go interview over, back to the golf challenge. Shot number two. Up. Oh, oh, it's short. It might, it might hit that yellow. What Actually, it went far. Oh, is that 150? <laughs> <laughs> shot number three. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. He's calling the shot. He's putting the bat in the air. Oh, 80. Three shots in. How are you feeling about your chances? I'm a little here? nervous. He's uh, <laughs> striping it right now. He was shanking the other ones, and now all of a sudden, when the pressure is on, he goes for it. Yeah, they don't ask how you hit it, they just want the result. So, right. his result. Yep. Oh my goodness. That one might be a little too far right. It looks good, though. That's what I was like. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it goes. There it goes. No, that looks good. 150. Hit it. Get it. Oh! Boom, last shot. Okay. Oh! He got points. Yes! 160. Point. And he finished what is the final? Points, and I'm really nervous. Let's 510, go. Lincoln. Go. You killed it. You killed it. All right, pressure is on over here. Alexis is on first shot. Oh, that's oh. money. 200! Yeah! What? <laughs> oh, wow. That's 200. Oh, that's pretty. Look to the short. 100. 100. Okay, so 510 is the number to beat. Two shots in. She's already at 300 points. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's good. That's oh, that's it. pretty. Right Look at that swing. Oh. Oh. 340 with two left. The last one is a okay. bonus ball. I'm super nervous now. Oh. Looks good. This could be the one that takes you over for the win. 100. 100 points. Oh. 440. 60 points, Lincoln. Ooh. You are up by if 60. If you get it in that 40. Alexis, okay. do, do not take it easy on Lincoln. It comes down on this. This is for the shoes. For the shoes. <laughs> Wait, what? SpongeBob shoes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, it might be a little short. No, that's points. That's easy points. That's right on the target. <laughs> That's it, right there. Look at that. Look how consistent she is. Every one of them. That's 100. 100! What's the total? 200. Oh, That's a bonus double. ball. That's double. Oh. So you still would have... 610. Yeah, get those shoes off your feet. What? No. Those are gone. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bob. Nice job, Great Alexis. Play. 650 to 510. I would like to say he made it really close and he's going through swing changes, so I don't want to play him on his best day at all. <laughs> Period. Okay, here's the deal. Lincoln is going to stay up here and continue hitting golf balls. I am going to go down on the field and check out these little bubbles down here, the targets. And then at some point, we're going to have Lincoln try to hit me with a golf ball. This definitely sounds dangerous. The broadcasting booth right there for the home team. Right here, booth six, KMBR 680. Those of you that are Giants fans, you probably have listened to that broadcast before. This is what it looks like, going through the Lexus Dugout Club right now and walking on to a Major League Baseball field. This is happening. Last time we were on a field was when the Houston Astros beat the Dodgers in the World Series and we went on the field right after. We ran around the bases, Lincoln pitched from there. It was crazy, so I'm on the field. <laughs> Man, I grew up watching these guys. You can see up here, this is where the top golf suites are, where everybody's hitting. Lincoln's up there somewhere, let's see if we can find him. Oh, I see him. There he is. I see you! <laughs> all right, this is the moment we all came for. I'm running out onto the field. Lincoln is going to try to bean me in the head. So, uh, 
Oh, by the way, this is what the bubbles look like. Check it out. Oh, how is the air blowing in there? Okay. Oh, poor outfield, got a little ding in it. There definitely are some divots, not as many as a regular golf course. Look at this guy right here, he's just cruising, picking up the balls. I'm gonna go beyond the fence, because then Lincoln won't hit me in the head. Okay, we're calling Lincoln right now. Hello. Okay, Lincoln, think you no, can hit it to the home run fence? No, I don't have a, I, my highest club is the eight. Okay, I'm eight. gonna stand here at the blue. I can't get that far either. Straight okay. Side of the blue. Okay, right? <coughs> right over here. Do not hit Shinka and hit Alexis. That would be bad. She's right over there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone on the target. You gotta hit me, buddy. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Onto the thing. Yes. Never go in a driving range when people are hitting. Because if that ball hits you in the head, it is gonna hurt bad. <laughs> There's Lincoln up here. Almost trying to hit me. You got this, buddy. Just hit it in the target. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That's coming at us. Boom! Look at that shot. Yes. So this is the target right here. This is the Top Golf bubble target. You can feel it. It's just like a bubble. This is a blower right here. Are you just filling it up with the blower? I'm about to fill it up. How often do you have to fill it up? Once a day. <laughs> Once a day. Look at this. You ready to see what's inside the target? There's a zipper. There we go, we're inside. Do you feel the wind? Yeah, I guess you can hear the wind. That's a dumb question. <laughs> okay, that's the inside of the target. It's basically just air. It's like an adult bounce house. That's it. That's what's inside of these things. Are there sensors inside of it or is it basically just? There's one sensor on the light. Just on the light. So the light, when you hit the bubble, uh -huh. it, feels, it feels the vibration, then it changes colors at night. Oh, but your ball and where it lands and everything is all based off of the Top Tracer top technology, tracer technology right. that's off of there. Okay, there you go. So there's no actual, unlike the regular Top Golf bays where they have the little sensors that are down inside of it so they know where your ball falls in. They do have Top Tracer technology at those ones, but for here, it's basically just the targets out here and then the Top Tracer somehow knows exactly where these are positioned on the field and where the points are. And the only thing that this box does right here is if it senses if you hit the target and the light will light up on it. It's basically just a bounce house for golf balls to land on. Just a normal day and what's inside life. So weird that we get to do this stuff. I'm so grateful for companies that do cool things and invite people that make YouTube videos to just come be a part of it. They did not pay me to be here today. They did cover my travel, but they gave me this amazing experience. So Top Golf, one of my favorite places. I can't believe I'm on the field. This is so cool. I'm touching the wall. I don't know why I think that's a cool thing. Maybe it's because I like baseball. I used to play baseball all growing up. I just found a golf ball. We're gonna throw it back. Yes. Over there is where they pick up all the golf balls. They bring them out here and they stick them inside of all these buckets here. And then they put them into the bags and then they cart the bags upstairs and give the balls to them. So kind of the way it goes. Look what we found, the Krispy Kremes. I'm just gonna get one of these donuts and walk out there to Lincoln and be eating one and just <laughs> not say anything to him. They didn't say we could take him, but sorry. Is that okay I took one? Yeah. yeah. Yes, all right. Let's go out there and just eat this by Lincoln. Oh, there he is, I see him. He's still hitting balls. Try it. <laughs> the donut. Yes. No. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow. There are donuts in there. <laughs> that was not nice of me. Were you afraid you were gonna hit me at any point? Yeah, one of them. One of them? One of them was like pretty close. Dude, you were so close. You hit the target so well on a couple of those. Usually long drivers, they have like a 4% loft and it's a really long shaft. Is that what this one is? No, this is uh, nine degrees. If the shaft is regulation. Regulation. But why don't you use one that's longer and... Well, I'm trying to go to the LPGA, so I wanna make sure I keep that swing in and long drive helps me to. Okay, so yeah, so basically she uses the same driver in her competitions <laughs> as she does to try to get on tour. That is smart, that's somebody that's dedicated. She could get out there and probably get an extra like 30 yards, 40 yards, oh, yeah, for sure. maybe. But she is choosing to try to get on the tour versus breaking all the long drive records, which hopefully she can do both. She's strong enough and has a good enough swing. 
But is it okay if I borrow your club? See ya. I'm gonna take her club and I'm gonna hit one. Uh, okay, all right. I'm gonna hit her driver and I'm gonna try not to let go of it. And then uh, we're gonna try to hit a home run over the net into the splash zone. Dude, stop eating so many donuts. This is five. No, we haven't had breakfast yet. I need breakfast. Let it be known, this is me doing this. I love on my this own free will. I love this driver too. Not top golf telling me to do this. That is one low tee. <laughs> Let's just put that away for a little bit. Oh, look where it oh, said. Look, look where oh. it said. What does it say on the thing? It said you hit the, the stands. <laughs> Zero points, let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was amazing. I think I might need to get me a Cobra driver. All right, Lincoln is trying to hit this cart path guy. Oh, in the basket. Get him, Mike. <laughs> you got him! Nice shot. I think they cheered for you even. Yeah, they cheered. That means they're nice car guys. So I showed you earlier Colton and Cassie, who are the real celebs here from The Bachelor. Um, how's your golf game? Uh, <laughs> improving. Impro I was going to say that. Hey, I was yeah, going to say improving. If you could be on uh, any other reality show other than The Bachelor, what do you think it would be? Mm. Survivor? I think Survivor would be fun. It would be fun. Would be fun. Probably a food show. Ooh. Like a food Ooh. competition. Food, so the cooking get, challenge, Gordon Ramsay, is yelling at you. Or an HGTV mm -hmm. show. You played in the NFL. Have you played with any BYU players? BYU is our college team. Yeah. No, but I've played with Utah players and I don't want to hear that. Oh, oh brutal. Utah players. He hasn't played with any of the BYU players. That's sad. But to his defense, other than like a few guys, there's not very many BYU guys in the NFL. Taysom Hill, Kyle Van Noy, Jamal, Jamal Williams, Williams on the Daniel Packers, Sorensen. Daniel Sorensen on the Chiefs. There's really not that many. With, um, Daniel Sorensen's brother. Oh. Uh, he was out in uh, San Diego. Well, that counts. That's yeah, basically, that's, that's, that's my connection. <laughs> All right, have you ever had the black card before, Top Golf? No, I'm so excited to have it. I know. It's, it's amazing. Wait. When you go, everybody in your entire bay is free for the whole time that you're there. You could stay there for like six hours and you could just keep playing in your bay and you're good. That's awesome. I'm about to play so much top golf. I was gonna say, do you have any tips for the, how to that's, use That's the one of them. Um, just get it set up under your phone number and then when you show up, put your phone number in and you're good. Okay, we're gonna go hit some more golf balls and try to hit the cart path guy. You saw it just cleared out. That's about it. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We hit a lot of golf balls. We yeah. went on the field. We probably broke a world record today. So anyway, another super fun video with Top Golf. Yeah. And we should have our black card for another year. So let us know what type of challenges you want us to do at the Top Golf. Because I've got a few ideas of things we could do that are kind of crazy at an actual Top Golf. All right. Did you have fun? Yeah. It was awesome. Okay. Thanks for watching. Oh.